Another good one. Another, another good one by Untitled Art. Welcome to Brown Box for North. We are in the heart of Clearwater Beach. This is your Megaplex of the Night. This is the best premiere I've had. It's very, very good. I might actually like this better than Highlight. Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I'm Ali Ray. It is Seltzer Sunday. It's also game day, and you know I'm a huge Vikings fan, so I am very pumped for today's game. Today I'm trying a, a seltzer. It threw me off, okay? So it's by Untitled Art. It's a black cherry hard seltzer, but it said Florida seltzer at the top. And I was like, wait, Untitled Art is out of Wisconsin. Why does it say Florida seltzer? But I guess I looked it up, and it's because they used Florida fruits, so that's cool. But so it's actually, you know, it's a special seltzer. Untitled Art also makes a uh, Rocket Popsicle amazing seltzer. I loved that seltzer and it had the whole experience I love with it. So I'm really excited to try the black cherry. It has a really cute can with cherries all over it and it actually gives the artist's name on here and so we're going to give her a shout out. Her name is Rayanne Smith. So she's the one that designed the can which is really really cool and I like it. I also read was a collab with Octopi Brewing, like an octopus, octopi. I might be butchering the hell out of that. Another thing I noticed is I'm always very excited to try things. I was watching back some of my episodes. I was like, how many times can I say that I'm very excited? The truth is I'm always excited to try new beers. <laughs> and it's just the facts. But I do realize I say it a lot. And the trolls, they definitely probably were going to eventually let me know. So I just wanted to call that out. So we're doing a black cherry hard seltzer. It's 5%. And of course, Untitled Art does not disappoint with their colors. Let me just tell you. It just goes a long way with women. Like the Rocket Popsicle was bright blue and I was like, this is a whole vibe. It's a whole experience and I'm like into it. And it just makes things cuter. And I love that you made this pink because it's cherry. And I just think that was really brilliant. Oh, wow. It smells just like black cherries. Like nailed it with, it just smells, oh, like so good. It's like, and not like fake cherry. Not like, oh, this is cherry flavor. Like, it smells like somebody crushed up some real fucking cherries in here, which apparently is made with Florida fruit. Do we make cherries in Florida? Maybe that's where it came from. I don't know what other fruit is in here. Passion fruit, yeah. It's gluten-free. I think a lot of seltzers are, but oh, here's what's inside it. Cherry puree, passion fruit concentrate. Okay, well, apparently they're from Florida and it smells fucking delish, so let's just try it. Yes. Tastes like it smells. Carbonation instant, light, not too sugary, but has the cherry at the end. You definitely taste the cherry. That's really, really good. You know what I would do with this? I'd put this shit over ice. I'd take limes and squeeze lime in it and then put some limes on it. And this is like your summer go-to. This is good. This is very good. I liked Rocket Popsicle. I now like their black cherry hard seltzer. I think I just honestly like Untitled Art, which just pains me to say because they are from Wisconsin and we already know how I feel about that state and their teams. I don't, I don't like their teams, but they make good seltzer. I'm going to give this one a 3.8. Um, I think I gave Rocket Popsicle a four. I liked it a little better. The only reason I would come a little bit lower on this, the cherry does get a little overwhelming. It's pretty strong. I mean, it is cherry, cherry, cherry. So that's why I say I would want to add the lime or the lemon to kind of cut some of that sweetness down. It doesn't have a lot of sugar. It only has four grams and four carbs. This is actually not a bad one for girls who are watching, you know, or men who are conscious about that. But yeah, I think that's a, that's a fair, fair rating. That's a review.